everybody, Clay Pike here, Jupiter Farmer, and today we got a new toy. This is uh, the Sony S120 little, oops, don't want to show the pole barn. <laughs> it is a mess. Anyway, this, this little camera hopefully is going to have a better image uh, than the GoPro. And today what we're going to do guys is do a quick walk around the garden. So let's just get to it and see what we got going on. I, I think this is going to be nicer guys because I don't think it's going to be as noisy as the GoPro. I mean you touch the handle of the GoPro even if you just rub it it's so noisy. But anyway so I just want to show you guys the size of these things. I mean if you can see let me see here where they are in relationship to my leg in just two weeks the last video we put up, you know, it took me, the last video I put up took me two weeks, guys, to get it up to you, and I apologize for that. But since then, we potted up a bunch of plants. Uh, so they're sprouted and ready to go on the north side. Here, you can see they're flowering. Whether or not they're going to set any fruit yet, it's just still a little hot. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and walk over here. We'll start this way, and we'll work our way around. Here, uh, there's some onions. They take forever, 120 days to maturity. Beets, love them. Uh, they, they take a little bit of time too, but uh, they're not terrible. Let's see what we got here. These are 50 day to maturity right here. So, you know, once we start these guys out, we can, we can come back in in a month or so and do some more and have a rotation of these. These are real fast. These are all planted at the same time. Um, we'll get back to this here. These are radishes. They're like a 30 day to maturity plant. And some more onions. So we, this, these are bell peppers. We had a hard time getting the bell peppers to take. But anyway, so here is some mustard greens. We got some just regular Georgia mustard greens. and. Here are, give you some scale by putting my hand down close to them. You can see the size of these bad boys. Are some kind of red color. This is pretty much a disaster here because we didn't get, you know, on the, the spraying of the uh, neem oil. This is a uh, squash and their eight up is all get out. So we have some more squash. I mean, as you see, like the last video of this, this whole bench area was completely empty except for this little patch right here. This is what was only left. So since then, it took a few days, I mean a few hours should I say, to plant up all these trays here and all these, some more tomatoes for friends and for myself because once those pan out, these will be yielding. And here's some finally, took forever, almost two weeks to get these uh, bell peppers to take. And then I do a lot of juicing, guys. And what I like to juice are these. And this is a little shot of lacinato kale. And we juice a lot of kale. All right, so that is that. And now, I was trying to speed through this. We don't want to belabor the situation. Just a quick update here is a row from end to end since last week. The video I just posted up, so you'll notice the size in two weeks of these guys. They have taken off pretty nice. And you know, you wanna keep an eye on, uh, you know, these things are not too bad for like pest. Whereas some things like the squash, it gets annihilated. Here we have some curly mustards, mustard greens. This is some curly kale, some curly blue kale. It's looking really healthy. And you know, these little weeds in here, I don't pull them, I take that little scuttle hoe. Come in here, I'll show you how I do that. Maybe I'll make a time lapse of that. But most importantly, you just don't want anything to get to the point where they seed up. You just, you wanna get them while they're small. Uh, here, is a cabbage. I put these toward the front of the bed so that, you know, we can till, we can rip out all that other stuff 
and till this, it'll be, it'll be fine. And just right here, we can work around it on both sides if necessary. And then right here are collard greens, which I eat a lot of collard greens. And you can see what's going on, how nice and healthy these things are. Uh, you know, they're just big old leaves right there. In two weeks, guys. And this, let me come over here real quick. They sent me, I must have ordered it, but I didn't necessarily want these. But I got a six pack, a little cell pack of these from Burpees when I was ordering seeds online. And it's a kale, it's a, a premier hybrid uh, kale. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. And one other failure that I had was on the cucumbers. The bugs got into it. They, you know, got planted really late, so they were weakened, uh, you know, immune system from being neglected so bad. Oh my gosh! I just see the first cucumber of the season, which I'm just unbelievably blown away that we even have anything growing on these things they were so root bound in the container but there it is the first baby we'll see if it makes it it's a little thing but anyway guys so what we're going to do instead of ripping out and, and we're going to you know obviously we're going to take out all these other but instead of totally demolishing this bed the fertilizer is in it everything's set We'll just take out these struggling uh, cucumbers and come back in with some ones that we started a couple weeks ago. So once I put all these in the ground, the very next day or two, day or two after that, I came back and uh, started up a bunch of different varieties. These are uh, squash. We got some yellow squash and some black squash. And these are cucumbers, cucumbers here and some squash here. Uh, so, you know, we can take those, those squash that are over here out and, you know, the ones that are totally dead. There's a couple in here, like this guy right here is still not terribly under attack. I mean, I need to spray these guys terribly. I guarantee you, it wouldn't take me long to find the culprit in here, you know, but you just, you just can't take the time to try to find them individually. You just gotta get in here and spray. And it's not that hard. Uh, and I just wanted to show you the size of these, these tomato plants, guys. I got one little, little thing right here. It's a little Velcro you buy at Home Depot. You need to put another one here as they get bigger. But it's a good 24 inches right there in two weeks, I mean, from a seedling, they take off and actually this, this pole here, they will tower over this. So I'll probably have to add a little piece of bamboo to bring this up. Somebody's burning today. Look at this, it's snowing over here. I just got a big whiff of some smoke. And now we got all this stuff floating in the atmosphere. Oh, to live in the country, I mean, it's just crazy. My God, look at the smoke. Somebody's burning illegally today. It's a little bit windy. We don't have to worry about fires, but my God, the wind is outrageous. Oh Lord, I can't be breathing this stuff. Anyway guys, Clay Pike, Jupiter Farmer. We definitely appreciate you tuning in. Oh, I see the smoke, it's my, my neighbor. <laughs> hundred yards away burning paper apparently <laughs> guys thanks for tuning in clay pike jupiter farmers stay tuned for more gardening videos